Today we're talking about the rationals or the NT personality types, ENTJs, INTJs, ENTPs and INTPs. This is part of David Kerr's theory on the four temperaments and this is uh, the last video in this series of four. So tune in for that, we will discuss about this temperament in the next few minutes. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's dive in. So the rationals are basically the most rare out of the four temperaments. Uh, they make up about 10% of the world's population. So this means um, they are probably the least likely to encounter in our day-to-day -day lives. NT types um, are described generally as types that are very interested in systems, understanding how systems work, uh, planning systems, um, digging deeper and understanding how they are constructed and how they interact with the outside world. Um, even though they're abstract types and they prefer um, ideas and concepts and theories, thinking about them and talking about them, they're also quite pragmatic people um, and they like kind of coming up with solutions in such a way that these also fit into the real world of um, how things are helpful for the other people around them, for the society and so on and so forth. Of course, each and every single one of them does it in a different way, has a different method, has a different strategy of approaching this uh, ingenuity, but they all really like strategizing and um, understanding this conceptual world in a more pragmatic fashion than idealists, for example. That said, one of the biggest drivers for the NT types or the rationals is to seek knowledge and understanding. Uh, probably one of the most important things for them in their lives is to understand how the world works. Um, and they will often try to kind of extrapolate their thinking in such a way that it kind of creates an umbrella, an umbrella that could fit in more information, more understanding, more concepts, more ideas, anything along those lines, so that they can create a more comprehensive analysis and therefore conclusions in terms of how something works. Um, even though they can be really innovative and have an exceptional ability to like plan, strategize, understand concepts, um, they can also sometimes be a little bit uh, rigid in their understanding, especially because being recognized is very important to them. Being recognized for their exceptional thinking is important to them. So depending on the level of development, let's say, they can also be a little bit worried of receiving um, disapproval in terms of how well they understood a system. So we're going to start with the ENTJ or the field marshal. Um, this is uh, one of the rational types that is exceptionally good at managing and administering teams of people, companies, systems, whatever. They're exceptionally good at strategizing, uh, one of the best types at doing this. And generally speaking, um, they have the ability to kind of keep in mind both short-term and long-term objectives um, in the way that they approach their work, their projects or anything along those lines. Um, they are exceptional at kind of administering small uh, tasks, small projects, and at the same time uh, managing people that they can easily break down tasks into smaller parts and kind of intuitively understand which part every single one of these types needs to take upon in order to kind of move things and change things. Next we've got uh, the mastermind or the INTJ type. This is the type that's probably the best at having many contingency plans. Uh, they like planning, they like predicting what might happen in the future and preparing themselves for those particular scenarios in the future. That's why they create many plans. Sometimes they have plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, whatever. And um, they usually like following through with their plans, which are really well made and structured, but they also have the ability to easily switch to a different plan when life requires them to. Uh, when something bad happens and their plan is not like workable anymore, they will have the ability to go and move to plan B or plan C or whatever. Um, that's why some people might perceive them to be very visionary because they can easily tell you what to expect in the future, especially if they have information about that particular context. Um, and this is something that really kind of, you know, inspires them to be consistently good at creating such plans. Next we've got the inventors or the ENTP personality. 
These are the people who are probably the best at innovating and changing things. They are a starter type, so this means that they are very drawn to anything that is new. New teams, new projects, new people, new work, new enterprises, new ideas, new concepts in particular. And they will be increasingly fired and inspired to make changes and always find a new better way to do something or a new better way to understand something. Um, and this enthusiasm that they have for new things and for starting things can also be inspiring to other people um, and can like move things a lot into many different directions. Um, at the same time, this interest in what is new and what is special and what is innovative can also cause them to have difficulty sticking through the things that they kind of got bored with after a while. And this is probably something that kind of backfires in different situations. And lastly, we've got INTPs. Um, these personality types um, are also called the architects because they really prefer understanding systems. Um, all of the NTs prefer that, but INTPs in particular, and they think the world exists uh, for them to understand it, for them to decode it, for them to analyze it at the deepest level. And sometimes they seem completely oblivious to what is going on in the real practical, pragmatic, concrete world because they're so passionate and interested in abstract ideas and theories and concepts and kind of putting all of this together um, to make sense of as many systems as they possibly can. And they can be exceptional theorists um, who can write really comprehensive analysis about many, many different things. Uh, analysis that a lot of other people can take on and understand to the deepest level. So thank you guys. Thank you a lot for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe.